Welcome to the most secret and transcendental revelation. Hari, 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 to the ecstatic house of Srivas Pandit. Добро пожаловать до Харидас Пандита. Srivas Pandita. It happened, it happened here. Это произошло тут. The most nectarian Sankirtan pastimes for the most intimate associates of Nadia. Самые нектарные дела Sankirtana для самых приближенных спутников Махапрабху в Наде. Those who enter into it will easily forget material life and won't understand if it's day or night. Те, кто погрузится в эти дела, забудет о мирской жизни и не будет уже различать между днем и ночью. Those who are banned will wish to enter and will not stop criticizing the few who are invited to sing. We cannot count amongst them the mother-in-law of Srivas was hiding in the Kirtan Hall. I wished to see what was going on in that assembly. Also, the Brahmachari. <laughs> also the brahmachari who believe that simply by not drinking alcohol and existing only on fruits and milk and wishing to improve his bhakti taking darshan and dancing with Mahaprabhu anyway the story is not about me but this is uh, и также был один промочарий, который думал, что просит пить алкоголь и просто живя на корешках, на молоке, он достоин чистого бахти, чистого керта на читание Махапрабху. Но эта история не обо мне, так что продолжим. For the goodness mercy of Sri Guru and Sri Vrindavan Das Thakur, please give your welcome to the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis. In this transcendental pastime. И поприветствуйте Вайшнав и Вайшнави и поблагодарите Вайшнавам Дастакур Шри Гуру Гуранку. All glories to Shri Vishwambar and Shri Nityananda. Вся слава Shri Vishwambar и Shri Nityananda. All glories to his devotees and associates. Вся слава его спутникам и его преданным. Do you know if this has started? I think that it's not yet started. <laughs> Don't speak! Look who has arrived! <laughs> it's Shiva's Pandit's son! Yes! That is what I wanted to tell. I mean, explain. How is it? Uh, because... Actually, I read the 25th chapter of the Majjhulila, so I know what's going on. One day, as usual, the Lord was dancing in Shiva's Pandit's house. The devotees, including Srivas, encircled the Lord, sang and danced. <laughs> Just then, in the inner quarters of the house, in the inner quarters of the house, Yeah. <laughs> 
Shiva's, of Shiva's passed away due to some illness, while the ladies looked on helplessly. Outside, outside the inner rooms, the curtain was in full progress, and the Lord danced in ecstasy. Suddenly, the sounds of loud wailing fill the air. Shivat's Pandit was a most elevated devotee, brave and knowledgeable. <laughs> She was the most elevated He quickly took charge of the situation and said, You are all aware of the transcendental potencies of Sri Krishna. Therefore, restrain your tears and contain the sorrow of your heart. The Lord, whose holy name is capable of purifying and elevating to the spiritual world, even the most dreadful of sinners just by one simple utterance, is now personally present and dancing in ecstasy with his servitors, each of whom is like Brahma himself. Он и Господь, чье имя произнесенное единожды даже самым падшим грешником может возвысить этого грешника до трансцендентального плана существования. Этот Господь сейчас находится в вашем доме в сопровождении всех дел. During such an auspicious time, if someone leaves the body, why should anyone lament? I would consider myself very fortunate if I would have the same fate as this boy. Although you are unable to distance yourself from the attachments of family life, you should at least stop your crying. Nobody else should learn about this incident, lest it raises alarm and disturbs the bliss of the Lord in dancing. If that should happen, then I shall certainly throw myself into the Ganges. <laughs> These words had a sobering effect on the women. They stopped crying. <laughs> and Shiva's Pandit went back to join the Kirtan.
and in the presence of the Lord. He was soon heaved high in the waves of divine bliss generated by Kirtan and the presence of the Lord. The deep knowledge and devotion of Shiva's Pandit is very exalted and rare. Such indeed are the characteristics of a servant of Sri Chaitanya. The Lord danced for a while, relishing the bliss of dancing. However, soon the news of the passing away of the son of Shiva's Pandit reached the devotees. Though no one openly expressed anything, they were profoundly moved within. Chaitanya, the omniscient Supreme Personality, knows everyone's heart. He inquired. Today, something perturbs my thoughts. What distress has cast its dark shadow in your house? <laughs> Shivas replied. My lord, what distress can affect me when your benign smiling face is illuminating my house? <laughs> Finally, the living devotees informed the Lord about the demise of Srivastava's son. <laughs> Gravely, the Lord asked, <laughs> When did this happen? <laughs> the Lord was told that it had occurred in the early part of the evening at about 4 o'clock. <laughs> You were, not a, you were not informed of this matter because Srivas was concerned about disturbing your dancing. His son has passed away about two and a half hours earlier and with your permission we shall now begin the necessary last rites. When Lord Chaitanya heard this wonderful story about Shiva's Pandit, he was amazed. The Lord said, How can I ever live without such an extraordinary companion? and began to weep. He said, How am I going to leave the association of such saintly persons who is unaffected even by the demise of his own son due to his love for me? Speaking in this manner, the Lord broke down and wept bitterly. <coughs> Don't go, Nimai, stay in Navadweep. Nimai, stay in Navadweep. The devotees were complex. The devotees were perplexed to hear the words of the Lord, which indicated that he might leave. They did not make much sense to the devotees, as nobody knew that in the future the Lord would leave home to embrace the mendicant life of sannyas. When the Lord calmed himself, he took all the devotees to attend upon the dead boy. <laughs> In the presence of all the devotees, the Lord addressed the deceased son of Shiva's Pandit. <laughs> What reasons 
have made you leave Srivas Pandit's house? <laughs> The devotees were indeed surprised that the Lord was speaking to a dead body. <laughs> yet, <laughs> yet they surprised during the sheer wonderment when the deceased young boy spoke up. Everything happens according to your will alone. Who can influence your will? I have enjoyed this body during the time prescribed for my presence within it. That time period is now over, so I am living to take up another body. My Lord, although I must leave my present body, <laughs> Please be merciful to me, so that I may never forget you. Who is one's father? Moreover, who is one's son? Everyone acts according to the results of his individual karma. As long as my destiny allowed me to remain in Srivast Pandit's house. I have stayed, but now I must leave for yet another residence. My Lord, I offer my humble obeisances. Please permit me to take your leave. <laughs> With these parting words, the child lay still. <laughs> this wonderful miracle of the dead boy speaking such words of wisdom was crowning experience for the devotees. They reached the heights of exaltation. <laughs> was now carried away on the waves of ecstasy. The lamentation was a part dream. <laughs> Experiencing the bliss of love of Krishna, they threw themselves at the Lord's lotus feet and said, Oh Lord, birth after birth, you are the father, mother, and son. May we never forget the shade of your lotus feet. Let us take birth in any place or condition. <laughs> but please let our devotion <laughs> 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 and your lotus feet be on the <laughs> Shiva's <laughs> 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 pandit and his three brothers. <laughs> 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 
всегда помним о твоих лотосных стопах. She was funded and his three brothers prayed earnestly to the Lord and all the devotees cried out in appreciation and joy. The Lord said, Listen, Srivas, you are well conversant with the knowledge of family and material life and you are unaffected by the distressful condition of family life. <laughs> Not only that, but you are so elevated that anyone who sees you will also become free from this entanglement. <laughs> Nityananda and myself are your two sons. So remove the pain and loss of separation in your heart. <laughs> the devotees jubilantly greeted these words of divine compassion and love from the Lord. The Lord accompanied all the devotees as they carried Shiva's Pandit son to the Ganga, performing Kirtan all the way. The required rites completed. Everyone. Everyone bathed in, in the Ganga and each ran his own home, chanting the holy name of Krishna. Shivas' <laughs> family went back peaceful and satisfied with the last rites. Shiva's family went back peaceful and satisfied with the last rites. <coughs> All the confidential pastimes of the Lord are extraordinary. <coughs> and faithful hearing of these narrations bestows pure love of Sri Hari. <coughs> I offer my obeisances to the lotus feet of Sri Bas, whose sons are none other than Nityananda and Gorachandra. These are the wonderful pastimes enacted in Navadweep. And they are known and seen only by devotees. Madhyakanda has tried to describe the pastimes of the dead boy. <laughs> Speaking words of wisdom to the best of the author's ability. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.
Gaur Bramandre! Thank you so much for this wonderful drama. <laughs> There is no doubt in my mind that I have just witnessed the greatest drama ever in my life. <laughs> it was so authentic. Only the director, Sikim Hiti Das Brahmachari, has taken the direct words of Vyas Avatar, Srila Brindavan Das Tako himself, and manifested them before our eyes. So because Brindavan Das Tako is the direct disciple of Nityananda Prabhu, his words by themselves, have the inconceivable Shakti. <coughs> and I think that all of us this evening, we experience that inconceivable Shakti. <coughs> this Leela has a special name. Do you know what it's called? Shokanashana. Yes, it's called the Shokanashana Lila. <laughs> it means the pastime that destroys completely every last thread of the possibility of lamentation from ever entering into one's heart. And even our seventh Goswami, Srila Bhaktinath Thakur, has written a song, a Kirtan version of this Leela, because by remembering this pastime, one will become free from all lamentation and never complain or consider anything to be misfortunate unfortunate ever again. Simply by appreciating this Leela, one can become the living embodiment of Lord Brahma's words. One who lives his life in a constant state of optimism, looking forward to receiving one day the mercy of the Lord. Considering everything that happens to be the result of his own karma. Which the Supreme Lord has mercifully minimized and then applied medicinally as a, a remedy for material existence. And in the meantime, simply glorifies the Lord with his body, mind and words. Then for that devotee, it is only a matter of time before he inherits as his own property, see Krishna's lotus feet. What is, what, is, what is the question of lamentation? One may lament about his own death. <coughs> and in many cases, it's more painful or more uh, traumatic to experience the death 
of a beloved family member. But by this beautiful pastime, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has shown that there is nothing to lament about in life at all. For those who are Krishna conscious. The general people of this world consider the death of a boy something very, very sad. But all of you became hysterical. <laughs> Even the most senior member of the assembly, Grandfather Bhishma himself, <laughs> was, was unable to contain his joy at seeing the death of a child. <laughs> So what more can we say about the potency of this divine leela of Satchinandan Gohari? <laughs> so I want to thank all the members of this wonderful leela. <laughs> Especially Shiva's Thakura's son! <laughs> In the beginning of the drama, <laughs> even though we ourselves have never been invited into the kirtan of Shiva's Thakur at night, <laughs> but somehow or other by the mercy of Praudamaya tonight, we all became privy to the divine madness of the late night kirtans in Shiva Sangha. <laughs> It was something indescribable. <laughs> Even Shiva Staku's own mother-in-law was not allowed in. <laughs> we'll show our appreciation to Shiva Staku's mother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and uh, the wives and family members of Shiva Stakur. <laughs> and especially to Shiva Stakur himself. <laughs> it was an amazing darshan of Advaita Acharya Ki.
Thank you so much. Огромное вам спасибо. Now we're inviting everyone to be ready. Don't be late tomorrow morning. Завтра постарайтесь не опоздать утром. The power of Mapu's Kirtan is carrying us to Vrindavan now. Мы поплывем в потоке Kirtan Chaitanya Mahaprabhu в Vrindavan. And there there will be three hours drama of the whole life of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu for eight days. Twenty-four hours of drama of Goranga. И там мы увидим 24 часа спектаклей о жизни Чайтани Махапрабху. Каждую ночь в течение восьми дней по три часа мы будем смотреть спектакль о Лила Господа Гауранги. By an artist who is more than ninety years old. Эта постановка поставлена режиссером, которому уже за 90 лет. And who has been honored, was recognized with the Padma Shri, that is a medal from the Prime Minister of India for his artistic creation. И за его креативные достижения он получил медаль Padma Shri от премьер-министра Индии. I think it will be very wonderful. I cannot imagine that it can be as wonderful as this. Я не думал, его выступление сможет сравниться с постановкой Шиги Махети, правда? О, Гуру Мата, Киджай. So everyone is the excitement is building as we approach Gaura Purnima. Видите, радость у нас разошкаливает уже, чем ближе мы приближаемся к Гаура Пурнеме. The appearance day of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Чем ближе наступает день явления Чайтани Махапрабху. If you continue to remember Mahaprabhu like this every day. Если каждый день мы так помним Махапрабху. Then Gaura Purnim is the day that he appears in all of our hearts. So Gaura Purnim он появится в наших сердцах непременно. That is the real meaning of Gaura Purnim. Это настоящее значение Гаура Пурнима. Они говорят, come and приходите. Stand with with the actors. Когда пойдет час, вам. I also want to be with Panchatatwa. Я тоже хочу быть с Панчататвой. Yes, you have to stand in the right way. That's it. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadhar Sri Vas Adi Gorbat.